these are stub axles for a Jaguar Mark II that have been specially made so that you can fit the vented disc brake assemblies off of an XJS or XJ6 and they're made out of EN53 and essentially this half to there is XJS size and from the back of the ring to the end here that's Mark II Jaguar size and they will fit straight in and the ring here is about a quarter of an inch thick and that was six mil specifically and that helps to space the vented disc brake away from the upright and for this arrangement to work you can't use the the Jaguar Mark II uprights you'd be better off using the Jaguar 420 uprights or off of an E-Type. The difference being is that even though the taper is the same in each of them, the spacing of the lugs to hold the calipers is wider on the Jaguar 420 and on the E-Type, I think Series 1 and 2 E-Types, but I'm not 100% sure on that. The taper, by the way, is three quarter inch in every 12 inches if you want a specific measurement for that um, and the approach that I'm using now instead of making these from scratch is to take an existing XJS uh, stub axle and they're fairly cheap they're about 40 pounds and just machine a narrower a smaller taper on the back end, cut the existing stud or spigot that's on the back of the XJS stub axle because it only goes up to about here and you need that extra length for the Mark II and put in a new stud so I use 1D depth so in other words one diameter of the stud thread, so that's about 16 mil. that's 5 8 UNF here, so I go about 16 mil in with the thread, possibly drill it a little bit further for uh, tapping out, um, put a collar on that stud so it butts up against the, uh, the stub axle and then create the remaining length in UNF, so both sides of the stud will be UNF um, and I'd make that either out of EN16T, EN19T or EN24T so it doesn't really make much difference some good quality metal in there um, and the the spacer rings that I'm using I'll be making out of stainless steel on the next set of stub axles. Um, UNF castellated nuts, I get those from Malpass tractors, tractor supplies, and 5 8 UNF nylocks are readily available as well from there. Um, so this is fairly straightforward modification it enables you to then run Mark II Jag with the XJS vented disc brakes and the four pot calipers rather than going for something like a Cooper Craft which have a much smaller surface area of brake pad you then get the full uh, XJS brake pad area and they are phenomenally good once you run these. I've been running these for about 20 years on these stub axles and they're absolutely perfect on that setup. Um, on the back end I similarly use 
XJS or XJ6 rear calipers, they bolt straight on. There's no issues there. Uh, to bolt the four pot calipers onto the uh, 420 uprights, you do need spacers and they're about four and a half millimeters thick. So this spacer is about six millimeters and then to space the calipers and put them in the right position, it's about four and a half millimeters to get them into the right position over the vented disc brake. And that's all that you need to do. And you then swap out the bearings from the Mark II bearings in the hubs and you put in the XJS or XJ6 bearings into the hubs with the seals and they drop in perfectly. There are no issues there, it's a straight swap. So I'll put details in the text below with further information.